I'll just check out this for a building coming up. Right, so I'm in Manchester today. Quite looking forward to this one. So I'm gonna go straight to the centre, get down some back streets, see if we can find some hidden gems, see what's kicking off. Let's go. Prison to the right of me there. Right near the centre. Could probably get there about five minutes from here. Pretty big one as well. Prison entrance. Oh, there was a huge riot at that prison years and years ago where everyone jumped on the roof, started throwing, ripping towels off and stuff like that apparently. And a lot of people escaped. I mean, I don't know too much about it, probably have to research it, but... Strange Ways Prison. That's what it's called. Tell you one thing, there are loads of buildings flying up in Manchester. A load of construction work, offices, apartments. Looks like it's becoming the new London. It's got to be the grimmest Premier Inn I've ever seen. Look at this. Looks disgusting. Nice scooter in there. Ace Cathedral there, just look at that. That is ace. And then we've got some, oh, let's take a walk in. And we've got some uh, nice Victorian buildings coming up as well. Well, old Victorian buildings that is, looks like it's a pub. Look at that for a bar, oyster bar. How nice is that? Right in the centre of that as well. But that's buzzing on game day. So you've got Manchester United and Manchester City here. So when it's game day, massive outside seating area there. And then you've got a row of bars here coming up, which I'll show you. Selfridges. Probably sell other stuff too. Football museum. That's a great day out. Print works. You got IMAX, Chiquitos, Hard Rock Cafe, Golf. Looks like a nice place to uh have a couple of beers, kill quite a bit of time and enjoy yourself here. Let's go take a look inside. Well, it looks like this place has been done up inside. A lot of work going on. See if we can get some good content for you. Yeah, not much to show in there, there's a lot of work going on, but quite a few bars in there, beer killer. It's worth just going there for that. A lot of nice, different food choices around here. Vietnamese, Greek, Italian. American, fishmongers, Indian, Mexican, all in the Arndale list. So I'm walking down a place called Northern Quarter where the drinking scene is going to be really good. Contemporary bars, quirky bars, gaming bars, stuff like that, so let's go check it out. That was pretty cool.
these are just flats right in the centre of Manchester. It'd be a nice place to live if uh, you like drinking, but if you don't, you won't get any sleep. Seem a bit out of place, but looks quite cool. A lot of market here, let's go see what's kicking off. Funky designs in there. That's good. So right down this back street, no idea where it is in Manchester. That small hotel. Wow, behind me is the worst rated hotel in Manchester. I'm staying there next week and I'm filming it. So it's probably going to be hanging. So if you want to see that, tune in. I mean, I don't know what, who's designed this. What's that, the Berlin Wall? What's horrible that? Manchester's looking good so far. It's got quite a lot of nice buildings, big drinking scene, whether you like it, pubs, cocktail bars, nightclubs, ace. So this is Canal Street. We got a lot of gay bars. I'm telling you what, it looks ace. It's just rows and rows and rows of bars. And it looks like they're all open till. 4 a.m., 6 a.m. So wherever you've been in Manchester, and everything's shutting up. I'm guessing everyone just flocked down to here. And what okay, case to be fair, probably playing like nice 80s music, bit of Duran Duran, all the big ones. Library, even the library looks sick. Ace columns, windows, nice architecture. Let's see if the proper stone, I'm guessing they are. A few minutes or not. Yeah. I'll just check out this for a building coming up. It's the best building I've seen in Manchester. Unreal. Hotel Gotham. So we've got a little entrance now. Does look like it belongs in Gotham City that. Everything about that building is sick. From Chinatown, load of places to eat. Nice little spot this, quite authentic. Long legs. We've been out on a night out and the boys have all pulled and you haven't yet. Last resort, long legs. Now I am actually coming back here to rate the worst hotel in Manchester. So if anyone has been there, let me know. Because if it's that bad and I have to go out drinking and I need to cheer myself up. Long legs.
Hilton Hotel then. Don't know what to make that building, I don't think it looks too good. But it's sort of like an icon for Manchester in the distance. Don't look the greatest though. So approaching Deansgate Locks now where there's a lot of bars on the locks that run through Manchester. Bee House, Comedy Store, Ark, I'm guessing the nightclubs that are open quite late. Look quite nice, nice outside drinking area. You can sit downstairs as well on the on the canal. So this is the bottom area where people drink. I'm guessing this canal here gets a lot of bottles and cups just thrown in it every Friday, Saturday or every night during the week to be fair. Literally only been walking about a minute and it feels like you're just sort of like out of Manchester now. You're not in the centre. Just found some Roman old buildings in the centre of Manchester. Weird. Look at this. Right in the centre of Manchester this. Check it out. Cool is that? Here at Manchester's got quite a few little hidden gems. Don't have to be buildings. You can just go walk and you can see random stuff. Even if it's just a bit of greeny where it just seems out of place in the centre of Manchester. It's just cool that like, it's got those little things just here, there and everywhere. I mean this Roman thing's pretty cool. Don't know much about it, much information. That's to research that yourself if you're interested. But it's got a lot of cool stuff. Science and Industry Museum, trains, weird stuff, science stuff. Pretty big in there. Kill a couple of hours if you're in Manchester. Art gallery. Pretty much looks like any other art gallery to be fair, but art galleries are cool. House there. Standard up house to be fair, I think every up house just looks the same. But they all look alright. The Ivy, if you got a bit of cash. Don't mind spending it, go there, it's meant to be half decent. It looks like quite a uh, <clears throat> posh area around there. Spinning fields it's called. It's alright. South Manchester. Loads of places I missed, but no one's gonna stick around for like a 30 minute video. I wouldn't, so. Yeah, decent man, really like it. Good buildings, good drinking scene. Good drinking scene for people who like bars, clubs, cocktail bars, and just cool stuff behind back streets. Even just for walking around, just having a look, it's good. There's like shopping centres, big ones as well, but there's no point in showing out. Shopping centres, just a shopping centre. So I'm back here anyway in a couple of weeks, checking out the worst rated hotel in Manchester, staying over. So it's good that, because if it's hanging, there's a lot of places I'll go out and just, just have a couple of beers. I was filming myself, having a couple of beers, cheering myself up. So yeah, that's Manchester. I'll see you in the next one.